Girl, you know you will look really cute in this. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Well, let me tell y'all this much, okay? I have been waiting to show you guys this wig. I have just been really excited about it. And I find one wig out of like a bunch that's my favorite. I always do it last because that's the one that I plan to keep on. It's a keeper. I'm keeping it. It's the one that I want. It's my favorite. It's like save the best for last. Fabulosity hair. So this young lady specializes in braided lace wigs. Let me just tell y'all this real quick. I have had several braided lace wigs okay one time it was like this cornrow one which was horrible like the girl sent it to me and it smelled bad and it was so itchy it was just like i don't even want to talk about it but did she send it to me and then like three days later was like when you gonna put up the wig video like when you gonna get some better hair and some better breaking skills girl and wash the wig it smells I have had quite enough experiences with some braided wigs, but this one I'm really like excited about. It's cute, girl. This is one of those wigs where girl, you ain't got to do nothing, okay? When I say you ain't got to do nothing, like you ain't got to do nothing, but put it on. You ain't got to curl that bad boy. You ain't got to do nothing. Listen, hunty, check this wig out. Now y'all gonna be like, girl, bam. This is a, listen, this is 360, honey. This is a 360 lace wig braided, okay? She braided this thing so well, like, I'm for fre I'm scared to wear it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared to wear it because it's braided so well that I just don't want to ruin it. I just want it to last forever. Not really sure how you go about making these last forever. Like, I really want this to last for eternity. This is the entire cap, like, like, come on, man. Look at this, like, for real look at this and it has baby hairs right here but it has the combs inside the cap so she did like a really good job with this okay and she put an elastic band sewn in there for you and some more combs so this is like amazing like this is a really good well made wig and i'm like listen it's my time to be rocking something like this this is really nice. It fits good. Like, girl, I'm so excited. You even got some little nape hairs back here. Thank you. And on top of that, the smell, chow. The smell smells real good. Like, seriously, it smells good, girl. It smells good. So you do get a wig cap with your, um, your lace wig. And they're quite quite a few styles on her website so make sure y'all check them out because every last one of them is bomb but I think this one is my favorite and the funny thing is I didn't even pick out this wig she contacted me she told me she would like to send me a wig that she made and it just so happened to be this one and I was like okay I looked on the website and I was like this girl know me real well because this one is definitely going to suit me so for this video, I'm definitely going to put on a wig cap because I did try it on without the wig cap. And I really prefer the wig cap because, you know, it's cornrowed. You can see the braids a whole lot better or the scalp better or just make it look more natural. So that is going to be the thing for today. So I'm going to cut the lace off and we're going to just get into this. Okay, guys, let's start this off with this stocking cap. So I'm just going to cut the top off of it because it will help with the top having a hole in it. So that way it doesn't slip back. So in case your wig caps ever slip back, just cut the tops off and you'll be good to go. Make sure you clean your hairline. Take off any of the makeup and oil debris you may have. So that way when you get to this part, it works. So I'm going to be using my Got To Be Glam Force Holding Spray. This gives you like a really great hold, 48 hours. So I really prefer this one over the Freeze Blast. You know, use what you like. I'm going to spray it over 
the edges along with that the top of the cap so that way it kind of like sticks to my hair and it doesn't move at all and I'm just gonna spritz a little bit more and I'm just gonna take my blow dryer on cool or you can do medium whatever you can withstand and you just want to make sure that you blow dry that okay make sure that it's blow dried really really good and if you feel like you need a little bit more hairspray you can double up on it you know just like double up on the hairspray girls okay but make sure it has like a really good hold you know you can use pump it up which is also really good too now for this portion I'm just going to use the got to be glam force styling gel which also does have a 48 hour hold and okay so I'm being kind of a little bit lazy with the application stick I didn't have a popsicle stick and I wasn't about to use one of my good brushes so I decided to use the back of this um, eyebrow tweezer trimmer to get the gel on whatever works okay and you're just gonna take that blow dryer and you're just gonna do the same thing I just put the gel over the actual hairspray so that way it'll really really hold and girls trust me it does hold this got to be hairspray and gel works really good um, how I do my gel is I don't use it straight out the bottle um, to oxidize it and for it to dry faster and make it kind of like tacky I squeeze some out into a little jar that I have on hand and I keep it in that so that way it's not runny so if you want it to come out thicker and a little bit more you know pastier you can always put it in a little jar make sure you put a lid on it and it'll come out a little less runnier and so once you're done with that and the gel is dry you want to cut away that extra uh, wig cap that you have dangling on the end because you definitely don't want to wear that outside and try to get all of the little loose straggly ends as you see me here I prefer like a really small pair of scissors because I'm not really trying to cut myself and this is how I do the ear portion you know I just tuck it over I don't do anything spectacular because I'm not trying to wear this forever then what I do next is after I've cut that extra I go ahead again with that same gel that I have in the jar as you see it's not as runny so it definitely dries quicker and it makes it thicker which makes it hold a lot better and I just take that same gel and I apply it to the edges of the wig cap so that way the wig cap is laid perfectly just laid down you don't see any of the frayed edges or anything like that and then you just want to go ahead and make sure that you just put it and apply it real well and once you're done with this portion or this process right here you're going to go back to that blow dryer and blow dry it and this is the final look yes this is the look for the day no this is how it ends up looking but you want to go ahead and blow dry it until it's you know just dry you don't want it to be tacky I'm just gonna blow dry it and just take your time blow drying it like I said you put it on cool or medium heat and now I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on and as you guys can tell I did unbraid some of the baby hairs in the back and a little bit on the sides because I didn't want to cut them away but for this portion before I cut the lace off of the cap I'm gonna go ahead and just unbraid the hair so that way I don't cut off any of the baby hair and the wig is the baby hairs are long but that's okay you know you can always customize them to your liking try not to cut too close to the hairline of the wig because you don't want them to fall out by accident now this unit is actually a 360 and it is human hair and it is some synthetic hair and it also has um, it also has been dyed I do believe the edges I'm not really sure but I'm gonna link everything below because me and the young lady we were um, conversing and she gave me great details on how she made the unit so I'll definitely place the um, information below the time frame is really fast for making your unit so on this portion right here I'm just going to trim away some of those baby hairs because I don't like them too long and I'm going to attempt to style them with the got to be fantastic styling mousse which I really do like but for me I don't like a lot of thick baby hairs because I just think it's really unnatural so I got my tweezers out right here and I'm going to remove uh, some of these baby hairs now this step is optional you don't have to do that but for me like I said I'm not really like huge on thick baby hairs at all it just takes away from the unit and then it just kind of like screams unnatural to me so I prefer them to be thin as possible and not too long so I'm just going to just go sparingly like spacing out uh, where I want it to be the most thinnest at with my tweezers and you know accordingly to how I like it 
So as I stated, this part is optional, but just take it a little bit of time. You don't want to just take big chunks out in one area. You want to take a few little pieces of hair out in each area and then check it and make sure that you've done it correctly. Because once you remove these baby hairs, they're not growing back. So, you know, you stuck with them the way they are. So you want to make sure that you get them properly or perfectly or however you want to call it. And don't take out too many chunks at a time. And I'm just going to trim away some of them because they were still a little bit too long for me. So this is the portion or the part where I say you customize. Now this wig is really easy to wear. Like I said, you just put it on and go. But the first time you do wear it, of course, you're going to need to customize it as you see me here. But I promise you, I guarantee you after that, girl, you good to go. Look at how she came out. She cute though. Okay. And now to apply the wig, I'm going to go ahead and spray my got to be glam force spray on it. And I mean, you really don't need this because once you put this wig on trust me baby this thing is not moving it's not sliding around especially if you do your wig cap like that like the way i showed you plus be being that it's braided it makes the process of applying this unit so much easier and then i'm just going to dry the lace with the hairspray i mean with the hairspray on it with the blow dryer and make sure that my ends are tucked down on the sides and just you know pull down those little nape hairs which I'm also going to be trimming I'm really glad that she did give those nape hairs because trust me girls you will need them you know you don't want anyone to see where the lace ends in the back so I do like the fact that you have these nice amount of nape hairs this is a really pretty unit I love the texture of the hair that she used like I said it is human hair and it is a 360 so you got lots of styling options now just to conceal the front there were just a tiny little bit of knots I'm just going to take my concealer and just brush that in in between the braids and this concealer is like a cream base so it's more or less the base for the powder um, face makeup that I'm going to use next but you really don't need to use it if you don't want to I just used it just a tiny bit because I, my scalp is just a, a tad bit lighter so I prefer it to just be a little bit more lighter but seriously the little tiny knots in this you cannot even see them she did such an amazing job on this unit I cannot believe it like seriously she did a really great job and this is the part where I'm just going to apply my powder over the cream concealer because I just use the cream concealer as a base to hold the powder but yes you guys definitely you want to check out fabulosity hair the time frame is about two weeks it's DHL shipping so it's express shipping okay the units are super affordable it's you it's she uses human hair along with synthetic hair and I think this wig is fabulous like go ahead girl okay Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. This is the Slipster. Nothing can stop me. Okay, you guys. Okay, so I'm done with this. Like, I'm saying, like, the back looks really nice. It fits so comfortable. Like, okay, listen. First of all, it fits really comfortable and it's on so snug. Like, because the braids make the wig stiff and tighter, this thing is not going anywhere. Like, you don't have to worry about any type of looseness. Like, I feel like it's a, it's just a little room right here, but the braids gather it so tightly that you cannot even tell. Girls, this wig is gorgeous. Now, y'all know I'm not, like, a huge fan of, like, super-duper overachiever baby hairs. Like, I don't really know what y'all want to call it, but I... I just don't really like a lot of baby hairs. I'm sorry. I just cannot do it. And like, oh, what happened to my eyebrow? Okay. But um, what I notice sometimes, like when people do wear like the, um, the wigs that are braided, the baby hairs be so thick on them. Like girls, please tweeze some of them off. Like you don't have to keep them all. I know some people are probably like, well, if I tweeze them off, what if I need them for later? Trust me, you will be fine i get it when they send it to you it's full of baby hair so you just have to customize it and i'm kind of glad she put some on the sides because girl you know sometimes the sides be lifting up and you don't really want it to be noticeable like that but oh my god this wig is gorgeous i love it like <gasps> ooh, but i love this like oh my god 
I really do like this. I'm about to go put on a different outfit. Just wait for Okay, it, you guys. So this is the other portion of the video with my outfit of the day. I do have a Chanel Classic Double Flat Bag, which I will post the information below, which is from FancyBags.ru. So this is the Chanel Classic Double Flat Bag, and it comes in this really nice box. Along with that, you do get one of the shopping bags. You get your little cards, your receipts, a little certificate. Also comes with this really nice Chanel ribbon which you can use just for just about anything a little flower petal a dust cover and inside is this amazing bag so this is the first Chanel bag I've ever owned of course it is a replica but it's really cute and still it does have the quilted fabric and it is lambskin along with that the Chanel hardware on the front which is gold and it's a double flap bag which means that it has two flaps you can store I like a nice size wallet in this along with that the straps the chain are also kind of like you can either use them or wear them doubled up or you can wear them single so this is how i paired the purse for the day i wasn't really going anywhere special you know what i mean the skirt that i'm rocking is from forever 21 and this is in the plus size section and i think the skirt was like either 1090 or i think it was 1290 the sneakers that I'm wearing are from Nordstrom and the t-shirt that I'm rocking is from just like a random store in the mall. The hair, of course, you guys already know, is from Fabulosity Hair and it goes really great with this outfit, something casual and just super comfortable. So as you guys see, this is how I paired the bag. I do like the hardware, the chain strap is really nice you can either double it up like I'm showing or you can just wear it as a single bag there is a pocket in the back portion of that as well as these bags look really really dead on really cute you would never be able to tell um, really inexpensive so if you're looking for something that is a designer style you can definitely check out fancybags.ru this is the second bag that I have from them the first one was my Louis Vuitton but I like this it's very well made the leather is great as you guys see I put in my huge wallet I love this wallet it's a coach um, and I love this wallet because it fits perfectly in there and I stuff everything in my wallet so I like this bag normally I am more or less like a big purse wearer but for the most part you can fit just about anything in this so you guys I hope you enjoyed this video all the information is below and I'll see you guys soon.